What's up with you guys for the day? How y'all doing? Yeah, welcome back to the channel. You live here with your guy Rafe, man. And we have some exciting crucial updates for you guys in the world of finance and crypto. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it off with a major milestone for the Ethereum crypto ETF approval, which took place on May 23rd, 2024. And then we're gonna get into going over some of the inflation concerns affecting the stock market. So that's that's what we juggling right here. We got one thing with the Ethereum ETF and then we got another side over because the stock market was already yesterday due to some information that came out and said the uh, Fed is willing to hike rates you know because inflation they ain't really you know they're, they're saying that they ain't make they ain't really doing no damage to it you know what I'm saying in the battle with inflation they ain't doing nothing but you know everything is you know kind of in the hands of the Federal Reserve with the inflation part so with the Ethereum ETF there's some good news as well so we are going to look over an article real quick and that is on uh, we on coin desk right now it says Ethereum ETF approval could, could, could spur 60% rally as ETH buying increases the forecast mirrors the market Reaction after spot Bitcoin ETS were approved in January. It says approval of spot Ether exchange traded funds ETF in the US could lead to significant rise in the token value, mirroring the market reaction seen with Bitcoin ETFs. Okay, and we got Bitcoin rose over 73,000 from 42,000 in two weeks after the ETF started trading. See, and that's another thing. See, we, we just got approval, but they ain't started trading yet and we'll we'll go back over here to the ethereum chart real quick just to kind of show you guys because come on so we like to go to the candlesticks and we'll go let's say we'll go a i would like to go further back than a month because we were already trading in these ranges of 3,000 around like 3,600 before it dropped all the way down to around about 28 we will say $2,815.92 so these are the ranges that when all this information came out this big green candle right here spiked this back up to like you know close to 3,700 and it's been just kind of bouncing around 3,800 as well so and it's in it's about $200 above when, like I said before it dropped all the way down to 28 so it still gained about 100 200 dollars as we should say but the thing about it is that just don't get too as we'll say too far ahead of ourselves you know what I'm saying like I said yesterday the SEC approved the first ethereum ETF and this is a significant development in the cryptocurrency world and it's a game changer for investors you see what I'm saying so Let's just break this down what it means to all the beginners and people who just interested in crypto and people who really, uh, you know, just just now getting in or just taking some interest in the crypto world. So for those who may not know what an ETF is, it's just an exchange traded fund on the stock market realm you see what i'm saying so when you trading off in your robin hood your charles swaps your fidelity accounts your vanguard accounts you know in those brokerage accounts you are able to buy etfs you know and we just want to you know get this off of clear a lot of people you know be targeting etfs but they're not 
protected by the FDIC as well. So this is just like a crypto because it's really not protected. See, stocks and all that stuff is protected by FDIC. A lot of guys don't tell you that, but ETFs they ain't protected neither. So, but for the most part, we don't really see anything you know happening that you should kind of be concerned about because like i said the spy etf it's all the way at 500 and you know 30 something but just always remember in the back of your mind when you trading etfs and all that stuff that they are not protected you see what i'm saying so we go move forward so basically an etf exchange traded fund is a type of security that tracks an index a commodity or basket of assets it can be traded on stock exchanges, just like I said, like, like a regular stock. The approval of an Ethereum ETF means investors can now gain exposure to Ethereum without actually buying and holding the cryptocurrency. So we're going to speak on that for a little bit. So if you guys just say, well, I don't, I don't really, you know, trade on a crypto. I don't have no, no platforms that I trade on. You see what I'm saying? But you do you say you focus more on stocks so this is your time to get some exposure to it as well you know just to keep it on that part but like i said if you in coinbase or, or your other exchanges where you're buying ethereum right you know you buying ethereum you're buying the crypto right you know basically you're buying a real deal and see this ethereum crypto it has a staking program which means you get rewarded you get rewarded rewards basically crypto in amount of dollars as well but the small amount of crypto that you receive just amount it just depends on how many uh ethereum tokens you have staking see what i'm saying and it can be a substantial amount or it can be a very small amount when you're just starting to accumulate you see what i'm saying so just know that the etf the Ethereum ETFs, you do not have exposure to the staking rewards. So just keep that in the back of your mind. And see, in the impact of the crypto market, let's see, the impact of the crypto market is very important. And why? It says, firstly, it brings more legitimacy to the Ethereum and the broader crypto market. Institutional investors who were hesitant to invest directly in cryptocurrencies now have a safer regulated way to do so so this could lead to increased investments and higher demand for the ethereum token and like i say once again that is a very thing when when we in the staking program so if you want to stake ethereum you know what i'm saying download that coinbase app we should have a link in the descriptions below if you guys want to you know get involved in earning a dividend which they call it staking in the crypto world, you know what I'm saying? So you can get you some of these Ethereum rewards going. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, and also go look at the Ethereum website. Ethereum, you know, the website where they got all Ethereum. They, they tell you the percentage. You know, the percentage is like if you got your own wallet and you staking out there, it's a bigger percentage. So if you just on Coinbase, then, you know, Coinbase gets a piece of the pie for helping you, you know, navigate it easily hold crypto and, and you know get some rewards so shout out to coinbase for that as well so what is, as you can see ethereum is up 15.56 percent in the last month and then we'll go back to the seven day so once again around May 17th, the lowest of Ethereum was like 3070 bucks, And then on the 20th, May 20th, that's when it started uh, gaining some traction. And it jumped up all the way about five, through a $361.72, 11% on that day. You know, and it's just, it's just kind of been hovering around this. Uh, it went up to about 39.43. That's what this chart is saying. And it's just kind of been up and down, up and down. So, and we've already seen a positive reaction in the Ethereum market, as you can say. But the reaction that we're seeing, again, is just bringing the price back where it was before it dropped all the way down to about 2,800 and something. You know what I'm saying? So, 
this approval also paves the way for more crypto ETFs in the future, potentially for another major cryptocurrency, you know, like Solano. Like, you know, we've been hearing all the talk about Solano ETS and all this. So, yeah. And basically, the next step is is what we're going to be. We're going to be talking about how to invest in this. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? It says, if you're considering investing, remember that the ETS can be a great way to diversify your portfolio. They offer liquidity, lower transaction costs, and diversification benefits. However, always do your own research and consult with a financial advisor. And, you know, these videos are just for educational purposes. And like I said, we are experts in financial money management. So you can, you know, email us, reach out to us if you, if you know, you want to consider some of our information. And like I say, you, we have, I would say we have a very great opportunity to help you guys out, you know, gaining wealth. Uh, helping you on, on your journey to build great wealth into your greatest imagination. Just just know that we have the power within because we're relying on a greater force. It's not all about us and by ourselves, but we are the main controllers and the rulers of, of what we got going on in the rim over here on this channel. So, yeah, stay, stick around with us. Subscribe to the channel. Like our videos and uh, just, you know. Always be in high spirits, and we want to say have a good weekend to you guys. And let's get back into this. So make sure you do your research. Consult with the financial advisor. Like I said, uh, the email is in the description if you want to, you know, reach basis with us. So, and we'll go pop over here real quick. Let's see what our buddies had to say on... The Yahoo, real quick. Let's let's see what he got to say. The SEC, SEC approving a rule change, paving the way for spot Ethereum ETF approval. The next step: fund managers need approval from the agency before they can launch ETF products. Now, the timeline on that it's still unclear. So, for more on this, we've got the person to bring us some clarity on this. Yahoo Finance reporter Jennifer Schoenberger here with us. Hey, Jennifer. Good morning, Brad. That's right. The SEC giving a green light to the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq to begin listing exchange-traded funds that hold Ether, but it has yet to give approval to money managers that want to issue these new funds. The move marks the first step towards allowing these ETFs to trade. The SEC would need to offer approval, though, for the money managers' filings for those actual funds to begin trading, though the regulator has not given any indication of when that could happen. The cohort seeking approval for these Ether ETFs includes some of Wall Street's biggest names from BlackRock, Fidelity, and Franklin Templeton to a number of firms better known in the crypto world, including Grayscale and Bitwise. This decision coming roughly four months after the SEC approved spot Bitcoin ETFs for the first time after years of denying approval. SEC Chair Gary Gensler speaking at a conference here in Washington early on Thursday morning ahead of the order said that the SEC is very deeply committed to following the law and how courts interpret the law that the SEC had picked up formally on what the previous SEC chair uh, Clayton was doing in this field around exchange traded products. But after he says two dozen orders from the commission, the ruling from the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals took a different view, and the SEC has now taken that into consideration and pivoted, hence why we're seeing the groundwork here laid for an ETH spot ETF. Of course, the race is on in terms of speculating for when we could see approval for those actual money managers. We'll be keeping an eye on that. ETH has been pretty volatile on the back of this, down about, I think, 4% last I checked. Still, it was trading around 3700 the SEC approving a rule change. Yeah, so there you have it. Some great information from our guys over there at the Yahoo Finance team. They always have great information. We are always tuned in with those guys. So in our next topic, we're going to cover some stock market and inflation concerns. Yeah, so... We have an article that I want to share with you guys. It is. 
Uh, let's see where we're at. Okay, so right here it says. Ad is in my way, but right here, if you can see, it says various Fed officials said they were willing to hike interest rates if needed minutes ago. And see, the market is up today, but it tanked off this news yesterday. So that's telling you that with all this Ethereum information that that we're receiving right now, it's good news for the crypto world, but the stock market world, we can't forget about that. That's our baby right there, the stock market world, because remember. Stock market is the greatest thing that you can get into if you want to turn your money that you make from your income into greater wealth over time. So you may have some, you know, something to leave your family back, you know, when the, your generations to come, you know, you say, like you're growing wealth. So it says the Federal Reserve officials indicated a willingness to raise interest rates again if inflation doesn't cool off further, according to the minutes of the April through May meeting released on Wednesday. Yeah, so the Fed released a summary of their April 30th, May 1st closed door discussion three weeks after the meeting. And uh, at the meeting, the Fed voted to keep its benchmark interest rates in a range from 5.25% through 5.5%, where it has been since last July. You see what I'm saying? And right here it says the Fed officials expressed dismay about this this disappointing inflation reading so saying the most recent data pointed to more persistence in inflation in coming months so the chief economist is is you know is more attentive about starting to cut interest rates but again is 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 very sticky man and you know, sometimes it could just be some, you know, to kind of confuse you. So, and that's what the market, like, remember uh, Warren Buff was telling us that the stock market is basically, it's like a radical person. It's just all over the place, up and down, this and that. So you can't really just, you know, get get all anxious, get too high horse because all this stuff is going on. And it's, you still got to have a game plan and focus on what you're going to be doing. And you're going to be investing. For the most part, all this is just news that, is very informative but for the most part you should be focused on the plays that you have you don't want to be having a thousand plays but you can have about you know what they used to say five to ten to twenty plays you know some people got more because they have the ability to handle more and they can you know they can juggle with stuff they got fast minds but people who just getting off into this they really don't be in it every day they're just you know trying to build wealth you would just be focusing on the plays the few plays that you got if you just you trying to trade them here and there, but if you just buying and hold them, you're gonna be focused on the dips basically because you're gonna be trying to buy the dips and just accumulate like that. So all this information is you know is it's a very you know important thing because inflation has been a hot topic recently and the numbers aren't looking good. You know what I'm saying? The Federal Reserve efforts to curb inflation haven't been as effective as hopes, and this is what they're saying. Like I said, anything could just, you know, it can just change <laughs> like that. And even though the market is still up, as we can see today, we're on Google Finance. The Dow Jones is up 79.58 points. The Nat, uh, the S&P 500 is up 36 points, 0.3. And the NASDAQ is up 170 points. See, the NASDAQ. Tech stocks has been holding up the stock market. You know what I'm saying? The VIX is down. We like to look at the VIX too. The VIX was up at around 16, 17. Now it's all the way back down to 11 and 12. So, and it's down today. So, you always make sure you pay attention to this VIX right here. The Russell. And you can see, you know, the S&P 500 had just been kind of standing around this 5,300 range. That's kind of like an all-time high. As well as the Nasdaq, the Dow Jones hit about forty thousand. It's dropped back around to the low thirty nine thousand. So this is what we're looking at. We got Tesla up three percent today. Apple is up one point eight seven percent. S and P five hundred is up not even a percent, close to it, thirty points away from a percent. And we got our baby Amazon. And we got that okay. This is a good. I really never got this, but I always see it over here. One okay, INC. It's at eighty dollars and sixty-seven cents. 
And then we just go here and, you know, look over. Our, we got our earnings on May 28th for a day future. And uh, we're going to look at one of the. This was the only play that was up yesterday. And it's up today about $9. And they got a big stock split coming up. Well, not a big one, but it's the second one, so you know, <laughs> man, they even make money. So if you like, if you, you, cause the first stock split, they got more shares, and then they ran all the way back up to a thousand dollars. So you know, all the shares that they got, they basically double, triple that money. And anybody else who was in Nvidia holders, so shout out all to you Nvidia holders out there. You know what I'm saying? So let's just focus on. Recent reports show that inflation remains stubbornly high. The consumer price index and producer price index indicated rising costs across various sectors. So you guys always want to make sure you're always paying attention to the information and things that could swindle the market. And don't forget that we're in war all across the world. Like over in the east, not not most not but we're in the middle of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't really worry too much about it. I wouldn't fear nothing. I would just stay focused on what you got going in your daily life. And then for the most part, live up to your highest potential. And you only can do that by worshiping God. So keep God first in your life. You know what I'm saying? But back to, you know, we we, we like to cover all different various topics. But we cover in the stock market and crypto because that's kind of like, you know, what, what we've been making money off of. And it's just building wealth. So, and you can do this alongside anything that you got going, your side hustle, your nine to five jobs, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So always try to make sure you understand the impacts of the stock market and the crypto market. So right now, this is concerning for both consumers and investors. Inflation affects the stock market in several ways. High inflation erodes purchasing power and can lead to higher interest rates as Feds try to control it. This typically results in higher borrowing costs for companies and consumers, potentially slowing economic growth. We've seen volatility in the stock market with sectors like technology and consumer discretionary being hit hard. On the other hand, sectors like energy and commodities have performed better due to rising prices. So a lot of these people have been standing afloat because the prices and stuff have been rising. Even though the sales might be declining a little bit, but the overall prices has been rising. And stocks have been really performing pretty good over the for the most part because we're in a cycle of, you know, we're like in that in the in the transition of cutting rates. You know, we didn't already, you know, the Fed didn't already put the hammer down and, you know, raise rates to a record high back you know in 20 whatever it was 2020 21 22 and all that you know those years like that so we're transitioning and it's a patient this is a patience game so you just gotta you know stick with the flow and uh you know keep a positive mind frame a lot of people say you know they're trying to take a money trying to do this but you know if you just focus on a positive realm and just say well I'm going to try my best to hold my portfolio down with a game plan. Take my profits if I got to. Make sure you, like you said, some people say they stop losses on if you If you really ain't just trying to hold the stocks while they tank 40, 50%, you know, if possible. You know what I'm saying? But if you got dividend stocks, always remember that when a stock go low, you got a chance to accumulate dividends from all the times that those is plays are low. You can be dollar costing this and buy more if you get a big lump sum of money to pile in. And just whenever those stocks run back up and break back even to where they drop from and then perform higher, you are going to be in, in the money, man. So I always remember that. You see what I'm saying? So what should investors do in this environment? That's the question. Diversification remains key. It says, consider allocating assets to sectors that historically perform well during inflationary periods like commodities, real estate, and certain types of bonds. And we can't forget about the crypto market. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, the crypto market is is ringing bells out there. You see what I'm saying? With the Ether, you know, Bitcoin ETFs. Yeah. 
and just staying informed and being adaptable to market changes is crucial. Keeping an eye on the Fed's policies, announcements, and economic indicators will help you make better investment decisions. So right there, that's game for the brain, you know what I mean? And then we'll, we'll you know, spill out some expert advice. So investors should be cautious, but don't panic. Inflation is a normal part of economic cycles. You know what I'm saying? I always remember that. Focus on long-term strategies and consider inflation protected securities. So remember again, ETFs ain't protected security. <laughs> they ain't protected, but they will make you some money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be too scared. But just always keep that in the back of your mind. I really don't ever hear people telling people that too much, but they not. It says keeping some cash reserves can also help you take advantage of buying opportunities during market dips. Remember what we were saying when the market dropped low. So you don't want to just be buying at all the time, cycles and stuff like that, because you could be just getting some money, you, uh, you buying. But then the big drop ain't dropped yet. You know what I'm saying? Learning from experience. Like, all this stuff I'm telling you is from experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we we have to wait a long time for your money to come back. We ain't selling them. We ain't losing. But you just got to wait for a little bit. And then, like I say, if you got that dry powder and you got that, bot and you got that money and you've been saving up, now it's a good buying opportunity during the market dips. You see what I'm saying? We're getting ready to wrap this video up. So, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for enjoying and, and locking in with us today on this stock market and crypto information. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, basically that's it for today's update. The approval of the ETF, Ethereum ETF, is a monumental statement for, for crypto investors and stock investors because we're going to be able to buy Ethereum in our stock portfolios. You know what I'm saying? So let's. So our next step is this: we just waiting around whenever they gonna start getting a trade. Whenever we gonna get to, you know, what I'm saying get off, get 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 some of them. You know what I'm saying to see what they do. Cause the Bitcoin ETFs is, is up, man. We made money, and if you still got them, if you still holding them, you know, like the great Warren Buffett always say, man, what's the best time to sell a stock? Never, you know what I'm saying. So we always got to keep that, you know. And then, like nowadays, if you want to make money too, because because a lot of people I'll be, you know, trying to inspire and you know, you know, encourage them to to get some of this stock market and crypto money. They they be kind of skeptical, and then it it doesn't move fast enough for. Them. See, our our in this world, we're trained to be moving too fast, you know, and a lot of people are being, you know, conditioned by that, you know, on, on fast money, this and that, but the great wise words say, be careful with making fast money because it just might be a curse to you, you see what I'm saying, so always keep that in the forefront, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update or some of these videos that we got. Like I said, when you ride with us, you're not just riding with us with information. You're riding with the powers to be. And we got good track records on making things manifest and, you know, be good for the people that listen to us and stick around and, and you know what I'm saying, be thankful and stay staying humble to themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about, staying humble and uh, staying live, living legit. You know what I'm saying? So let us know in the comments what you think about the Ethereum ETFs and the stock market inflations and how you're managing your investments in this inflationary, inflationary environment. Until next time, folks, stay savvy and keep up the smart investing.